Why is the door open? Anyone in there? Crane? Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Same brand we found in the open arms. There's a message. in the old days. Hmm. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. 
So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! <laughs> okay! <laughs> you got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring. What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Alright? <sighs> you know, this tortured lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know 2 plus 2 is 5, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How about we continue this talk in a jail cell? Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Oh! This is not a negotiation, Jack. This isn't a fucking boxing match either. <sighs> How about this? I'll tell you what I know. Then you can reconsider my offer. Hmm? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on! Dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You want to try that again? That it? Pick me? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. 
Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I don't know. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even... <sighs> Read the sign! We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it with You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? 
That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> 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 What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing? Whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day.
what a... Uh, what a... Is that you? Yeah, sure. What a... Bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so... You can run off back to the woods, I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Just go back to sleep, Holly. Lily's funeral. It was just so fuck tonight, but I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing, if he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He cares about this, about Lily, about Faith. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Anti-Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Make sense? Thank you. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Where's Crane? Is he still here? Huh? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't really... Uh... Do you live in the building? No, we don't live here. Are you the missus of the house? Or is your mother at home? My mommy's not here. She's probably working. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so... 
We're not strangers. I'm Miss White, and this is Mr. Wolf. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Miss White. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. No one's been over all night. A butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Not here. There's no one here but me. Where do you buy your clothes? Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh huh. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy, that's how we like it. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? Shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe it's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Auntie Greenleaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. The more lying, the more 
hanging around the Rosie. No more bullshit, non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of despair. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you! Don't destroy it, please! This whole story of yours better check out. I will. We can always come back later. Even after I told you everything? That's it? She's off the hook? Come on, we have to get to Crane while he's still there. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. <laughs>